The Time of Showers, Chapter 3, Derek. I woke up at the bottom of a pool. Yes, a pool. I was flat on my back and opened my eyes to see water all around me. Did I mention that I was completely naked? Yeah. My clothes vanished in transit, I suppose, and I was able to breathe. Underwater. For a while, I just stayed where I was. It was too surreal. Instead of attempting to get up and have a look around, I put my hands behind my head and relaxed. That relaxation didn't last long. Just as I was about to drift off, I looked up and saw a something or a someone walking across the surface. What did it mean, though? I was abducted by a puddle of water and ended up lounging at the bottom of a pool. This shit does not happen in real life. I concluded that I was dreaming. It's only a dream. It's only a dream. That's what I told myself as I felt my body floating to the surface. I've had many dreams in which I was murdered by a psycho. I braced myself for yet another round of running from a knife-wielding maniac or a monster. The next time you're on an elevator, preferably alone, lie on the floor. I dare you. Just so you can experience what I did. It was odd, but rather fun. Just try it. I'm positive that you'll enjoy it. And you'll be wearing clothes. As soon as my bare body broke the surface, I wished that I had a blanket. It was cold as fuck. Dream ruined. Was I expecting what happened next? No. I expected to wake up in my car with a flat tire that still needed to be changed. What happened next? That dark figure that was strolling across the water was waiting for me. Psycho? No, yet again. It was her. She looked at me and smiled. Such a beautiful smile. I shivered due to being exposed to the air with damp skin. She reached up and pulled a blanket out of thin air and threw it over me. I have never felt so comfortable, so at peace in my entire life.